Dale and I were very visible. We spent a lot of time out of our offices, getting to know kids in the cafeterias and classrooms in the hallways. I knew from the moment that I started working with Dale that he would be successful in whatever career path. So it's a wonderful partnership. Dale is, is a person who's very comfortable going outside of himself. He listens to people. He listens to teachers. He listens to parents. He listens to children. Collaboration to him is not a strategy. Collaboration is just ingrained in who he is. Dale was the business manager when we went through the decision to change our schools from neighborhood schools to grade centers. This was about equity for the students and equity for the teaching staff. If you've got a hundred kids and you've got five classrooms, every classroom should have 20 kids. It was a very contentious time in our community. Many people with grade centers were all about it and many people were absolutely, incredibly opposed. The fact that Dale was willing to lead and take on that issue doesn't surprise me because he wasn't afraid of making difficult decisions. It caused a furor in the community for a while, but in the end, it was so obviously the right thing to do. I'm so glad we did it. Our existing superintendent got ill about six weeks before school started. So Dale was thrust into the job with very little uh, warning and uh, just performed so admirably. The biggest influence that he's had is to establish a culture of respect. We are going to treat our students with respect, our families, uh, and we're gonna treat one another with respect. He's a peacemaker. You know, he's gonna pull people together on things if he possibly can. He's there to listen, he hears you, and he appreciates your point of view as well, and makes a decision thinking about everyone. Having a foundation for 153 was on the long range plan. Can we get another vehicle to try to help staff do what they need to do under a lot of financial constraints that the district were no longer able to provide? State funding is never at the level that it should be, so to have a group of citizens give freely of their time, it's a wonderful thing. And every dollar that we get through the foundation, through the PTA, they're real dollars and they make a difference. He's crystal clear that it's a business about kids. We're not making widgets, we're making human beings. It is all about the kids and the families and, and what we can do to provide the best education possible. And that comes from him and the school board. We agonized for three, four years about whether or not to go to a referendum at all. We needed the support of a lot of people who did not have kids in the schools. And again, Dale was a huge part of that in making sure that we got all these people together who could really drive it home, and, and, and we did. I think he did a great job of putting you know, school funding into layman's terms so that anybody could understand what the problem is sitting in people's houses and having like a coffee talk. The response that the community gave was unheard of. It's an incredibly overwhelming feeling because you watch the returns on the news and then you see Homewood District 153 at 80%. It's, it's unheard of. He's always walking the hallways, just saying hello, saying how you're doing. He just came down to see what was going on. He just came down because he was a part of it. He just came down because we're all in it together. When I think about Dale, I immediately think about him wearing his Prince Charming costume at Halloween time. He never lost contact with what it's really all about, and that's being around kids. That's why we got in the profession in the first place. He had to make the really hard decision to close Millennium School so that we could make our budget go further. And it was a tough decision. Dale took care with all staff members there to make sure that they would land somewhere. Just that alone is amazing. We thought lightning can't strike twice. And sure enough, more than 80% again. And I really attribute those results to Dale's leadership because his 
openness, his frankness, his willingness to be so transparent about what's going on in our school district, bring a high degree of trust. We have two sides in our lab. We have the STEM side, where we do lots of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And we have the creative media arts side. We have so many different aspects of technology in here. It's amazing to see what these kids can do. Dale is really good at saying, our kids here in home would deserve this. Dale's vision was every student is going to use this and have access to it. I remember last March 13th getting the call that we're going to be shut down for two weeks. So silly little me thinks, okay, two weeks and we'll be back. Well, obviously that wasn't the case. Very good. Dale was on top of things from day one and was communicating right away with the staff. The trust that our staff have in him and the relationships he's built over 18 years have helped. And he's earned that trust through the work he does. I so regret that this Dale's final year is not the kind of daily celebration that I had envisioned for him. But I can't think of anybody else that I would rather have leading us through this. I've never met somebody who so many different people love so dearly. I think it's just because he's just so authentic and true to himself and the things that he believes in are just the right things. People rally to folks like Dale and when they rally to him, they find out that, you know, not only is he a nice person, but he's a competent educator. He knows what he's talking about. Dale is someone who cares. He profoundly cares. This is not a job for him. This is who he is.